in this unboxing, Night Brother Warrior Gaming Grade. Hello and welcome my friends, Darth Rock. Thank you once again for joining me today. Um, recently got my hands on this guy because a lot of these gaming greats are, are local EB games. They, oh, there's a lot of some of these and they're all slowly clearing them out. So um, the, I saw the Wookiee, um, not, I am an aunt, um, really was actually wanting to get this guy so I'm glad um i still got my eye on a couple of others they might hopefully drop so yeah this guy looks fantastic um really really looks cool um again from the gaming greats jedi fallen order i believe and so some of these guys as well so um yeah we'll have a quick look at the box and get them out have a look we'll bring them all in at the end just to sort of have them side by side as a comparison I will just get these gaming greats at the way. Still one of the best figures. Absolutely love this guy. Still haven't seen the new Purge Trooper over my side of the world. Really, really want to get my hands on him. So, um, yeah, Knight Brother Warrior. Same sort of species as Darth Maul, as you can tell. Um, he's got this really awesome weapon here as well. Nice yellow tone to him, and there's some quite good looking detail, which we'll get a nice close look at once we've got him at the box. So, um, Jedi Fallen Order at the bottom there, Night Brother Warrior, very cool pose image on the side of him there, looking awesome. And we'll bring it around to the back, and again, number five. I've only got two of them in this box, um, I think the other one's number four, uh, three maybe, which is this guy here, which again. <laughs> He finally dropped down, was cheap, and I picked him up quite some time ago. So yeah, Jedi Fallen Order, so are some of those guys we've just looked at there. So um, let's not mess around anymore and let this bad boy out of the box. Right, got him out, and i got to say, he actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I've had him for a while now, and yeah, pretty damn good, really good. Um, first of all, quick look at the weapon. And then we'll check him out. That's a pretty cool looking weapon too, I must say. So the light's a bit back there. There we go. Look at that, that's quite neat. There's a lot more detail to it when I actually got it out of the pack. But it looks pretty good. And you even got this little sort of bone tooth looking thing at the end there. Sorry, I'm not keeping it too still. Let's just have a look at the end system. It's quite cool. Really, really neat. I like that. Right, I'm not too bothered on the Archer one, but this one looks awesome. Let's check him out. He looks awesome. So we're already sort of mid halfway. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's not too much going on down there, but it does look pretty good. That could have been soft, but I mean, it's not major. I don't think that's really a big thing. Doesn't bother me too much. But yeah, starting from right here, where we are, I'll just stand him and focus it. So it wobbles a little bit there, but how good is that? That is awesome. You can see the two different yellow tones here as well which really stands out and makes it look so much better. And this, you've got a real cool looking pattern here as well, and the circle in the middle. And you can see that different yellow coming in from behind there. Really, really cool. And that goes all the way up. We'll turn them around. And just, then you see the face as well. And that looks fantastic. What a menacing look. Look at that. That is wicked. Really like this. Look at the side there, you can see his arm, quite neat coming down on his hands, and that yellow tone as well on the side. Same as on the right here as well, you've got the hand pattern and arm, and that awesome yellow, and even up on the side of the head there, that, that is 
That is just awesome. I mean, that mall I've got, which we'll bring in soon, he looks fantastic. And this guy looks just as awesome. And that's just the back there as well. But yeah, really, really impressed with this figurine. What an awesome sculpt. They did a phenomenal job here. Just bring it in closer. We'll get a nice close up of that face, eh? Ankles are a bit loose. There we go, there we go. That looks good. That looks good. What a great figure. He just looks awesome. I can't wait to pose him up. Really can't. I'll bring that in just quickly again and you can see that. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. What an awesome figure, guys. What an awesome figure. I highly recommend him. He looks absolutely awesome. Right, what I'll do is I'll just stand him up normally and bring in Darth Maul. Just a little bit of side by side comparison there. There we go. Damn, these guys look awesome side by side. They <laughs> look really good. That Maul's such a good Maul. Such a good mall. Oh, what great figures. Really, really are. Hey, even that bit's different on there. Oh, cool. What an awesome race. <laughs> Try and bring him a little bit closer there. He looks cool with that. And I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I have to figure out where to put him. <laughs> oh, fan, fantastic. Oh, I can't go on much more. Um, I'm currently waiting for some cases to put up um, some of these ones from Linda. So once I've done that, I might, I'll might i either do a video or just do some Instagram posts. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting on some cases because I can't not put them in some cases like my other ones. It's, yeah, there's a big difference there. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And yeah, tell me your thoughts down below. Tell me what you think. I reckon it looks awesome. And I love that two-tone, two different yellow tone they're using there. It really stands out. What a great figure. Absolutely awesome. All right, my friends. I would love you and leave you. And until the next one, give into the dark side and may the force be with you all.